Hello Libra, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. So we do have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Express your love for me as a reader typically comes out when it's encouraging somebody to go after something. What exactly? I'm not entirely sure what that is just yet, but we'll see. We're going to focus on you first, Aquarius. Aquarius. We're going to focus on you first, Libra. Geez, I just did Aquarius. We're going to focus on you first, Libra, and then I'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind, the roles can be reversed and time is fluid. So it's either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Libra currently view this relationship? Okay. There's a, there's a huge step that you're taking and this huge step that you're taking, it's scaring you. It's definitely scaring you. It definitely is. Um, we do have the Three of Wands and then we also have the Magician. I feel like you're taking a huge leap of faith here. I feel like you're taking a huge step, Libra. And it's scaring you. It's scaring you. Um, the fact that... We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Uh, this could definitely represent you entering uh, a commitment with someone. And this could definitely represent you possibly even getting married or possibly even engaged for some. But you're going from being single to being in a, in a commitment or some union here uh, between you and another person. So for some of you, it's just as simple as jumping into a committed relationship with someone. For others of you, this could definitely represent you essentially getting married here to someone. But whatever huge step you're taking, you know, it's something that you want. It's something that you've been waiting for. It's, it's actually something that you honestly manifest into fruition here for yourself. But nonetheless, it's definitely a scary step for sure that you're taking here. And it does kind of feel like a positive uh, step that you're taking here. But it is scary. It is scary. That's one thing that I will say. How does this person currently view this relationship with Libra? We have the King of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. And then we have the Strength card. I know what I want. This is somebody who's very confident and sure when it comes down to what they want with you. Whoever this person is, is somebody who has a lot of love for you, a lot of love for you. You could be connecting with a water sign strongly. So a Cancer, Scorpio, maybe even a Pisces. We also have Leo energy out here, but this is somebody who knows what they want and the light that they essentially want to manifest and create with you. And they're definitely determined to make that happen. That's one thing that I will say. But you know what's interesting is that I feel like this next step that the both of you are essentially taking within the relationship that you guys share with one another, it's scaring you and it's scaring them. Everybody's scared. Everybody's scared. It's kind of like the epitome of like getting cold feet. You know what I mean? It does kind of feel like that. It does kind of feel like that. It's actually kind of giving me goosebumps to be completely honest. Um, but yeah, this next step that you guys are taking within your relationship with one another it's scaring you and it's scaring them. Everybody's scared. Everybody's scared. I do kind of feel like you're kind of getting cold feet and I feel like they're kind of getting cold feet too. But it's not stopping the two of you nonetheless from starting this new chapter with one another. No matter how scared the both of you are, this is what you want. And this is what they want too. Aww. How does Libra feel? How does Libra feel besides terrified and scared right now? We have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Swords, and then we also have the Devil. You're so scared. You're so scared. You are so scared. I feel like you're talking to yourself, which, like, listen, there's nothing wrong with it. I do it all the time. Um, I feel like you're trying to, like, talk yourself through something here, through seeing something here. And I kind of feel like it has a lot to do with this next step that you guys are taking uh, within your relationship with one another. Like, I feel like a lot of you are telling yourself, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine, Libra. You're going to be fine. You're going to do this, Libra. You got this, Libra. Like, I feel like a lot of you are really talking to yourselves. But most importantly, you're talking yourself through something. You're telling yourself that you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. <laughs> like, it does have that feel. But, yo... This next step that you're taking within your relationship, it's something positive, but dude, it, it feels, it feels pretty terrifying. It feels pretty scary. It does, but there's just that double confirmation right there with the sun being out here. It's something that's going to make you very happy. You know, it's something that you want, but it's still scary. It is still, it is still scary. 
I feel like a lot of you are also like trying to kind of focus more so on like controlling your breathing. I don't know if you're getting extremely anxious or nervous. Um, that's the thing. It's like, I don't know what this next step is. Like, are you guys like jumping into a relationship with one another? Are you guys getting married? Like what in the world's going on here? Cause I feel like you're trying to calm yourself down and like talk yourself through something. Like I got this, you can do this Libra. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You're like, you got this. You know what I mean? It does have that feel, but this next step, it feels positive. It feels positive. It feels like something that you've always wanted. It feels like something that you actually manifest into fruition here. But it feels so scary at the same exact time. What a combo, man. What a combo. I feel like your nerves are really bad, too. Uh, let me grab the card that fell. Yeah, I feel like your nerves are, like, really, really bad, too. Anyways, how does this person... How does this person... Okay. This feels extreme, like a, like an emotional time. This feels like a, yeah, this feels like a really like emotional time here for the both of you, to be honest, but not in a negative way, in a positive way. That's, that's something that I am kind of getting primarily, like, even though we have a lot of cards um, that represent fear and anxiety um, and worry, it's towards something positive. And it has a lot to do with a next step, like the next step that you're taking within your relationship with one another. I feel like this moment is causing this person to essentially realize that they don't want to ever lose you or be without you. This is freaking touching. Like, what are we doing here? Are, we guys, are you guys getting married or something? Are you guys getting married or something? Like, what are we doing here, man? Because I feel like... I feel like it's so positive, but it's like it's like bringing up a lot of emotions at the same exact time. But this is somebody who's realizing that they they just they can't they can't fathom and or picture their life without you. Nor do they want to. Nor do they want to. This feels like such an emotional time, Jesus. Okay, but in a positive way, in a positive way, in a positive way. What actions? Look at that, you guys. Like, I don't know, yo. This, this reading is doing something to me, man. We have the king and the queen of cups. True pair situation here. A lot of love and celebration. And celebration. Oh, my gosh. This is, like, giving me goosebumps, man. This reading is doing something to me. Okay. What actions? Okay. We have the death card. We have this. Listen, man. Listen, I don't know if you guys are getting married because it feels like it literally feels have you ever attended a wedding before and how people get all nervous and like sweaty and stuff and like I feel like that's what's happening here. If you guys are not getting married, this could be as simple as like this person proposing to you and like realizing that they don't want to be without you. They can't even picture their life without you. For some, it could definitely be that. Um for those of you who are jumping into a committed relationship with this person, I kind of feel like the both of you kind of held off on taking things a step further out of fear. And if that is the case, you guys are actually facing your fears together. Okay. This feels very, very positive. This feels and it looks good on top of that. Your person's ready. They're so ready for this drastic change that's happening here between you and them. They're so, so ready and they're so sure. And they're so sure on what they want and who they want. Bam. All right. Any advice for Libra? Which I don't even feel like you need the advice to be completely honest. I don't. Um, you know, with release your ex, that to me represents like the uh, eight of swords and tarot. I feel like there's a lot of overthinking on your behalf, which I'm not shocked, Libra. You are cerebral, right? You know, sometimes you can't live in your head, right? Um, try not to allow fear and anxiety to get the best of you when it comes on to this next step that you're taking within your relationship with this person. Everything's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to work out. You're going to be okay. Because I feel like everybody's freaking out. I feel like everybody's freaking out. I feel like everybody's scared. Um, I feel like this person, you know, they're doing pretty well. They're doing pretty well. Like, this next step that you guys are taking, like, granted, they're scared. 
don't get me wrong, they're scared and they're also emotional. Um, but I feel like the reason why they're emotional is because they know deep down inside that they can't picture or fathom their life without you. And that's what's really making them emotional. Um, but I feel like they're doing a pretty good job at like managing like their fear and their anxiety. Like I feel like they're doing a pretty good job at managing that because they just know that this is something that they want. Like they're, they're so certain that you are what they want that fear and anxiety and overthinking is just really not getting like it's really not getting to this person because they just know that you are basically what they want and I feel like the feeling is essentially mutual in that aspect I feel like the both of you really do want this I just feel like you're like allowing fear and anxiety to possibly get the best of you a little bit too much to the point where a lot of you could be thinking but like oh my god what if this goes south what if this goes south what if this doesn't work out what if this actually backfires in my face like I feel like you're kind of freaking out just a little bit I do hence why you're coming in with this overall energy of like trying to calm yourself down trying to talk yourself through something telling yourself you're going to be fine telling yourself you're going to be okay <laughs> like I feel like you're being your own coach here to be completely honest which is pretty awesome um but yeah I feel like the reason why you're overthinking it is because you're thinking like damn what if it doesn't work out what if it backfires what if I'm making a mistake like it does have that feel to it but you're going to be fine you're gonna be fine you're gonna be fine you're gonna be fine don't worry about it all right so that sorry my phone is just acting up today but we're just gonna go with it um if I'm repeating myself I apologize but as I was saying it just kind of feels like there's a lot of things going on all at once and it's just a lot to digest but nonetheless it's something very positive you know it's something that you know you want it's something that they've always wanted to and it's like you guys are finally making it happen you guys are finally making it happen and I feel like you know at the end of the day the both of you are gonna be perfectly fine granted emotions are running high you're a little nervous they're a little nervous you're a little bit scared they're a little bit scared but again try not to allow like the oh my god like what if it doesn't work out or what if it goes south to get the best of you um i feel like you're gonna do a pretty good job at talking yourself through this moment that you're having with this person in particular whether that be because they're proposing to you um or asking you to be their significant other or the two of you are actually going off and getting married um you're gonna do a pretty good job at talking yourself through this moment um you're gonna really need to be your own best friend uh to really overcome like this next step that you guys are about to take um and i feel like you're gonna you're gonna do fine you're gonna do fine you're gonna do fine you're gonna be okay they're gonna be okay you guys are gonna be okay all right so hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated i'm wishing you as well as this person nothing but the best um and i will see you guys in your next reading bye